adaptation of refractance window drying technology. This is a project funded by BioInnovate Africa being implemented in Uganda and Kenya. The project was conceived because fruits and vegetables are seasonal and during those seasons there is excess and a lot of that excess goes to waste. The current efforts lead to products of relatively poor quality, low in nutrients and they are not very competitive on the market. So refractance window technology is a different technology which gives superior products to those that uh, conventional drying methods give, mainly because uh, the products are not exposed to high temperatures, they are dried for a relatively short time, and that makes them come out with higher levels of nutrients, with better flavor, with better appearance, and generally speaking, we can dry them to very low uh, moisture content, which makes them crunchy, and that is uh, suitable for people who want to snack. Also being able to demonstrate drying of uh, mangoes, pineapples, moringa, uh, as well as uh, jackfruit. For the last two years, we have been uh, working on the project with the aim of processing fruits and vegetables using an innovative technology known as refractance window drying technology. So the products are used in baked products such as cakes and different types of bread. We conceived this project uh, and we uh, designed it so that it has participation of private sector, uh, people that are responsible for utilizing the technologies to develop products. We are going to show you a procedure you need to follow when flavoring cakes and bread using dried food products obtained using this technology. I'm called Julius. I'm a food scientist and I'm going to take you through essentially how you can supplement your bakery products with fruits dried with refractancy window drying technology. We have wheat flour, we have our fruits already dried, we have our yeast, salt, sugar, calcium and fat. So we are going to start the process with weighing the ingredients. We are going to get uh, 1.8 kgs. We are going to add 10% of the fruits. Add our fat now sugar, I'm going to add in yeast, about 30 grams, then you can put salt, 20 grams, and calcium, just about 2 grams. We have finished weighing our baking ingredients, now we are going to mix them with water. This 
session we are going to learn how to add our dried fruits in cakes. I have put 500 grams of sugar and 500 grams of prestige or fat. Operating air, then you add 50 grams of your fruits, make 10%. Mix these fruits in your flour at this stage, then you continue mixing. the consistency is better. and I'm going to be taking you through uh, a step-by-step -step process of how you can uh, flavor yogurt with the uh, refractors with dried fruits. We have pineapple powder, we have mango powder and several other fruit powders that have been dried using a uh, dry technology called refractors with the dry. We have our plain yogurt so we shall get uh, this yogurt and power a small portion into a mixing container. Once we have done that, we get our pre-weighed pineapple fruit powder and we add it to our small portion of yogurt. Mix the two gently. for about five minutes and the moment everything has thoroughly mixed we, we bring the remaining portion of the plain yogurt and add it to this portion and after that we mix everything thoroughly well ensure that the fruit powder has reached all the points of the yogurt. So once that is done, then you can get your yogurt that you have flavored using the fruit powder and put it in a, a, a packaging container. The moment you have finished uh, packaging your yogurt, you press it under cold storage for a period of about 24 hours to allow the flavors to distribute evenly in the whole yogurt. I'm going to take you through a step-by-step -step of how you can make a ready-to-drink juice at home using these uh, fruit powders. You have your glass, you have your powder. We shall get a small portion of our powder, put it in our glass, and after that, we add uh, some water to the powder. After adding some water to your fruit powder, then you get your spoon and mix thoroughly well. And this is, should take you a very short time, one to two minutes. And once you have mixed the clean water and uh, the food powder, you can add some sugar to taste, but if you don't want to add sugar, you can actually take it the way it is, in its natural form. As the uh, people who are involved in, uh, in the processing, 
we encourage you to use these uh, dried products in your uh, processes. Make sure the products you are using are safe. And during the processing, you have to ensure that the products are treated in such a way that they don't lose the intuitive value. Make sure you have the right temperatures to maintain the best possible quality of the baked products. We uh, urge uh, those that are in agro-processing to embrace this technology in order to get products of uh, competitive quality. We also urge those into agro-machinery design and fabrication uh, to contact us for possible uh, engagement in the fabrication and sale of this equipment.